right, and welcome back to business as usual. So we're back from vacation. And in the meantime, I've got a second update already. So right now we are at 2019.28.2. And yeah, let's see what this update brings us besides playing a game of chess and reducing the volume when you open the doors automatically. But what I'm most interested in is what autopilot will bring us. So first up is the hill crest, where I'm not really interested anymore in the top of the hill. That has been fine for quite some time already. But at the bottom of the hill, we have a lane merge. So here we have the lane split and at the bottom of the hill, that lane merge is coming together again. And we don't have any lane markings at that point. So let's see how the car reacts to that and whether it will seek out the middle point of what it, think it thinks is the lane. So here you see the lanes disappear. Yep, it is going slightly to the left. Again, it's nothing to worry about, but it is seeking out the middle of that lane before it realizes, oh, this is not a separate lane, but just a lane merge. Right, a little up ahead, we have the S-curve, where in Europe we are screwed. Since the current regulation, where the steering angle and the uh, lateral g-forces are limited quite a bit. Let's see if this update has found a way around it, maybe by slowing down or maybe by slightly steering a bit more. But let's see. Yep, going over the line, giving me the beep that the auto steer is limited. But it is slowing down and getting it back on track. Same here. Yeah, so the car is perfectly capable of handling this, but regulations prevent it from doing that. So please Europe, check this out. We need to fix this because the technology is way ahead of what your cars, or what you think cars can do. Right, so I'm on the highway now, I've set the navigation so that it needs to take a double exit up ahead right now it's telling me to uh, change lanes to follow the route which is because I just got onto the highway for some reason it wants me to be in the rightmost lane uh, when I start navigate on autopilot so about now within 1500 meters I need to go to the right so I'm expecting an indication that I need to move over the lane uh, any time now actually but it is not giving me that yet okay here we go so I need to confirm the lane to uh, the lane change to follow the route let's see if we can merge into here so it is slowing down to adjust to the speed of the car in front of me yep it did not block on the truck behind me but there was a gap of more than 30 meters Right now it should take the exit all alone. Just holding my hands on the steering wheel. Yeah, it is doing that fine. And now it used to take the second exit, but it's going to say navigate an autopilot ending. Sometimes it did still take the second exit. So let's see what it does now. Even when autopilot or navigate an autopilot was uh, terminated. Yep. So even though navigate an autopilot was terminated, it's still taking this exit. So there's a glitch in the system here. I'm happy that it still does that, but there's a small glitch in the system where it uh, should indicate that navigate an autopilot is still active. Okay, right now I need to move over two lanes to get onto the highway. Still no indication that I need to move over here. Oh, confirm lane change. Yes, I will. And I need another lane change. Yes. All right. It does wait quite a long time to start to initiate the actual lane change, which is strange given the fact that we are still stuck with that five second rule. Let's see if it indicates. Yep. Yeah, it indicates way up front that 
Oh. I used a turn signal, but it didn't follow the lane change. Wow. So it didn't do it at all. That's weird. It indicated I used the turn signal and it didn't respond to that. Okay. Now let's see how long it takes for it to get me back into the right lane. Driving slightly illegally here in the center lane. It is still not indicating that I have to go to the rightmost lane. So let me do that manually now. Yeah, okay. Now it reacts. So let's see if we can uh, get it to pass another car again. It is slowing down. I get the impression if you do a manual action that it takes longer for the car to actually suggest a new lane change. But this was good. Now let's see when we pass the car. I'm going to go to the right now. It is not slowing down anymore. That's a good thing. So the car is no longer slowing down when you move to the right, when you just pass the car. That's good because I've been asking for that for quite some time to fix it. And it seems like they may have fixed that right now. So we have another truck coming up. I have a car next to me. Let's see if the car will suggest something, yes or no. Starting to slow down for the truck. Immediately suggesting a lane change. It is doing the lane change, but I would still like to see it speed up during that lane change. Right now I'm going to initiate the lane change myself here. Again, no slowing down for a car that you just passed. That's awesome. Okay, so we have a slower car coming up. I'm going to try to match its speed a little bit more closely. Okay, there was a car coming from behind and the Tesla was not that happy. So yeah, a little bit slower even. Yeah, barely moving faster than that car and let's see what happens if I want to move over as soon as I can. That is right about now. Yeah, it is not slowing down anymore. So good work on that one, Tesla, because that has been a problem for quite some time. So right here I'm expecting a lane change for that truck, yes. The car next to me is moving over for me, so thank you for that. And now let's see how quickly the car will send me back to the right lane. Past the truck, I can go right now. The car doesn't seem to want me to go to the right at the moment. So Tesla, this is still something you need to fix because legally I need to be in the rightmost lane as quickly as possible after passing a car. So that's not so good. So up ahead we have an exit that I need to take now and that is a rather sharp turn. Let's see how Navigate on Autopilot will handle that, whether it will slow down enough to still make it or whether it will just crash me into the side. Which by the way has happened before, that it just didn't turn enough and it just, uh, if I hadn't intervened it would have uh, crashed me into the side. So navigate an autopilot ending, slowing down on its own, I'm not doing anything, really slowing down. It is taking the turn. But with some jerky movements on the brake. 
going to the outside auto steer limited of course yeah it kind of does it so it's not uh, too dangerous in this situation but could be a lot better so up ahead we have the lane shift just came across the red light here but let's try to accelerate through it and try to get autopilot all right let's see yeah it is clipping the white line on the right side with enough room to spare towards the curb but slightly less confidence from my point of view in uh, that maneuver than the previous update right final part of the test here when we can enable autopilot due to the parking lane markings and then let's see how quickly it goes to the side. That's, I think, quicker than it was before. Oh, it's braking for that car, I assume. Let's see what the turn does here. Yeah, it's doing fine again. It's less, less steering motion in the car. It's more short-footed, even though there are no lane markings. And of course, it will detect those uh, bicycles. And brake as expected. So, right, time for another conclusion. And uh, what can we say about this update? Well, first of all, it was a little bit more short-footed on the last section where the lane lines disappeared less of uh, steering movement there so that's a good point um, still autopilot is not meant to be driven there i'm just testing the limits here and um, yeah i'm happy with the way it does it at the moment um, the biggest update that we have in this version is the fact that apparently it does not break anymore when you just overtook a car that is not going a lot slower than you and you move to the right. So in previous updates, it was kind of like the car didn't know for sure whether that car was passing you on the right, yes or no. And it needed to calculate that and in the meantime it slowed down to the same speed or something. Uh, right now it is continuing on the same speed that you set and it is moving to the right without any braking. So for me, yeah, that's a, a big thumbs up on this update and uh, yeah everything else seems more or less the same um, the s-curve that is still a problem and it is going over the line so it is creating a dangerous situation because of the regulation so yeah we need to get around that regulation one way or the other to make sure that we can move on with autopilot in europe i mean i'm jealous if i see those videos of uh, guys doing 90 degree turns in the us um, that is something we can only dream of in Europe at the moment. So let's hope we can find a way to change that regulation or Tesla finds a way to get around it somehow. But yeah, so for me, this is a really good update. Uh, nothing shocking, of course, but we are seeing again a little bit more progress towards stability and towards uh, better and safer autopilot. So yeah, as usual, if you like my videos, please click the subscribe button and don't forget to click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. And for now, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.